the spirit of Naaman has not only seduced us, but sometimes we get so intoxicated with the treasures on earth. So who is your master? God of Pharaoh. Moving on, verse 33 to 34. 33 to 34. But seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things shall be added to you. Therefore, do not worry about tomorrow, for tomorrow will worry about its own things. Sufficient for the day is its own trouble. I think it's sobering for us to, um, to note that this particular verses, 33, 34, has been preached over this pulpit by various speakers so many, many times. And I think we need to think about it. Why is it presented again? Are we not getting it? It must be a reason. When a, 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 a message is preached over and over again by different various speakers, then God is saying, listen up. Is it because we as a church have not fully committed to seek God's kingdom first and his righteousness? I think it's very vital for each member, you know, to really pray about this. To seek first the kingdom of God is to seek his rule, his government, you know, learn his ways and do his ways. We have learned so much from the ways of the world, but we need to learn God's ways. What he has told us to do, okay? Have you done it? What has God been telling you maybe for months or years that he told you to do, but you have not done it? And what has he been telling you not to do, continually you do it? You know, we are so good at blaming somebody else for all this. We are so good at making excuses until we believe a lie. The kingdom of God and his righteousness should permeate our lifestyle and influence the way we use his resources that he provides for us. Seeking God's righteousness is about seeking God's nature and the characteristic of God in our lives. It should come out from our lifestyle, the nature and characteristics of God. Many times, we don't even know who God really is. One of the greatest things about God is his holiness. Because Holiness has been repeated, holy, holy, holy. When something has been repeated so many times, that means there is greatness in that area. So more than seeking to lay up treasures on earth where it can be destroyed, seeking first the kingdom of God and, and his righteousness is laying treasures in heaven. Okay? I um, think it was Kristen many, many years ago. He was saying to me, he said, Mom, treasures in heaven. I wonder how big those treasures are that I'm laying. What if it's only a speck? This is from a little child. I mean, he's, he was younger. So I want to ask you to think about it. What? treasures are you laying up in heaven? Is it only a speck? You know, a speck you can't really see. <laughs> so when we, t when we begin to lay up treasures in heaven, you, we seek God's kingdom first and, uh, and his righteousness, then all these basic things God promised that he will provide. He's a good God. 
we hear testimonies, okay? I have testimonies, you have testimonies about how God provides miraculously, right? Everybody here has a testimony that God provided? Amen. So if God has done it before, can he do it again? Isn't he the same yesterday, today, and forever? Just because he provided yesterday, that the economic changes today, he cannot provide today? He still can. He's God on the throne. Because we are his subjects and citizens, God as the sovereign king will meet all our needs. Because he is a just God. He is a good God. We, we sang about his loving kindness. He is that good. He will provide. So instead of worrying, we must get into the habit of trusting God, okay? Get into the habit of trusting God. Can everybody say this? I will get into the habit of trusting God. Come on, everybody say it. Amen. Amen. Now that pleases him. You see, torments are never from God. All these worries and tormenting thoughts are never from God. It is from the enemy. And if you, if you buy it, he will increase that torment more and more. Okay? So choose you this day who your master is going to be. The fulfillment of your destiny in Christ depends on who you choose as your master every day of your life not someday but every day because our journey is a progression it, every day it should progress more and more into our destiny hallelujah 